I'm Dr. Deepak Pusa, oral and maxillary facial surgeon and a dentist. Today I'm going to talk about the mucormycosis, which is most trending, commonly called as black fungus. So I'm, talk, I'm going to give a small talk about this topic uh, in the part of the Save the Tooth campaign. So what is mucormycosis? It is not a new, any new disease, which is seen from the decades, but now it's uh, really trending because of the uh, ongoing pandemic. COVID-19 pandemic. This mucormycosis is nothing but it is caused by a group of fungi called mucorrhizae. It is commonly seen today after in the post-COVID, post-COVID patients, recovered patients. The main reason why this uh, mucormycosis is affecting the individuals are there are some group of uh, drugs and individuals are highly sus susceptible to the mucormycosis such as uh, the patients with uncontrolled diabetes and the patients who are on long-term drugs such as immunomodulated drugs the toclizumab and then uh, IV steroids for long term which is more than dosage of 40 mg, 60 mg and even 120 mg. These are high and the persons who are affected previously with cancer and uh, cancer and other patients who have received an organ transplant and has a low immune system. These are the highly suspected patients where you can see this mucormycosis affecting. So how do you suspect this mucormycosis? How, uh, how do you identify? There are some signs and symptoms of this mucormycosis such as the facial pain, pain in the face and you will see some swelling in the region of the affected region which it might be left or right and you can see, uh, what do you see? You can see the loosening of the teeth, pain in the dental region, blockage of the nose, any discharge of the blood from the sinuses or any swelling in the nose region and uh, also you can see some oral findings such as uh, uh, what do you say hole in your uh, palate region these are the commonly seen signs other signs and symptoms and also by, you can on examination of by any dentist nearby dentist you can find that there might be any palatal ulceration loosening of the teeth and uh, also it can might sometimes even it can also affect the brain which is also called a rhinocerebral variety of the mucormycosis Today, the most trend, most commonly seen is the variety of the rhinocerebral. Though there are other type of mucormycosis such as pulmonary uh, mucormycosis um, and uh, cutaneous mucormycosis, which are not uh, recently seen in the variety of COVID-19. So, what do you, what should you do when you suspect a mucormycosis? We suggest you to vis visit a nearby dentist, which is uh, near, the first person to identify this variety. So, and uh, they can refer to a nearest uh, oral maxillofacial surgeon or an ENT surgeon or a general physician. These are this can be identified by various tests such as an CBC, so complete blood picture, and uh, where the complete blood picture and the uh, fungal culture, fungal staining. It is done by taking a small amount of biopsy through the nasal cavity or the deep extraction of the socket of the oral cavity. These are the various methods where it can be identified, where it can be identified by culture and also sensitivity tests. To examine and understand the extent of this, this is generally preferred as a MRI scan or a CT scan if it is available in a nearby center. This is not a disease that has to be nearly worried unless the patient is severely compromised and the diabetes is not under control and various other factors. This can be treated successfully by a maxillofacial surgeon by if it is identified early by administration of amphotericin B, liposomal amphotericin B, intravenous and even a posconazole. These are the various drugs and also the other drugs which can be uh, efficient drugs which can be treated for this mucormycosis and if it is identified early this can be successfully treated with a surgical debridement using an uh, surgical debridement intraorally and even some cases it is might extending into the orbit region where though the patient loses his eye but he can successfully be living a life which is uh, rather than so affecting uh, worsening it and going to the death so my conclusion for this is get if you find any findings anything go visit a nearby dentist and refer to a maxillofacial surgeon get it identified the earlier it's treated the the better the outcome thank you i'm dr deepak pusa maxillofacial surgeon thank you for listening